Hey, Jason Fladlin here. In this video, you're going to discover how to instantly create pro looking Facebook fan pages inside of WordPress? The answer is yes. In fact, I'm going to show you on this very video exactly how to point and click your way to a perfect Facebook fan page. That means you can use this fan page to make a ton of money with Facebook PPC. You can use this fan page in social media marketing and make a ton of money. But most importantly, you can create Facebook fan pages for local businesses and this service can fetch you hundreds if not thousands of dollars and you can do it instantly check this bad boy out right here would you believe it took me mere minutes to create this thing this is a Facebook fan page or is it actually this is a WordPress theme inside of a Facebook fan page meaning you can point and click your way and customize all kinds of stuff here you see I got a home page with a video on it and an add to cart button what else do I have here I have a store if you click on store here I set the store up instantly point and click these buttons these things pop in right here and you can sell a whole lot of product for you or your clients with this store notice that I have this make sure you like us up here that shows up so they can click like we're forcing a like and by the way I'll show you in a second another way to instantly force a like where you can hide content until somebody likes your Facebook fan page but let's move on see this thing that says free gift on the menu let's go there boom squeeze page by the way this squeeze page was auto generated for me all I did was put in my Aweber list over here put in an image and then just filled out a couple forms and it automatically created this for me this is one of three squeeze pages you're gonna get when you sign up to get the WP fan pro technology today let's take a look at the other two so let's go to another three gift and by the way notice the drop down menu that took a tenth of a second to create here's the second one you're gonna get this is automatically created for you so when it says please submit your email to view this video all you gotta do is put a headline in and put some bullet points in and I'll show you again how that works and then they just put their email in there click download they're automatically added to your list and here's the third squeeze page that takes seconds to set up you can specify the text right here just fill out a form fill out your headline whatever you want to put down here you can put and then just put in your opt-in code and they will automatically be added to your list okay so you get these three squeeze pages that you can set up in seconds so you can use your Facebook fan page now to build a massive amount of leads and by the way if you want to instead hide your content for the WP fan pro page you're gonna build you can use this template it takes about two seconds you just put the text in you want up here and then you put in whatever text you want over here and now people can't access the rest of your fan page until they like your fan page so let's just peer behind the scenes to see how all this magic happens and how it's so instant and so easy for you to use I'm over here in WordPress which is actually where I'm getting all the data to throw into my Facebook fan page you see I've installed this thing called WP fan pro theme by rapid crush that's my company okay so what I'm gonna do here is I gotta just go to theme options to show you a couple things so here we are in the theme options under general theme options first of all let's check this out adjust like banner from left that's this bad boy right here make sure to like us uh, your like button is gonna move depending on how long of a title your Facebook fan page is so unlike other themes who don't even take that in consideration we do in fact if I change this to 204 and hit save changes then we bust back over here and we refresh this page look at this make sure you like us has been moved so you can adjust this thing to fit perfectly wherever you want to or if you don't want it in there at all all you gotta do is go to the general settings and say like us image hide and select yes and it will hide the image okay the next thing you'll see here is the product page category all you gotta do to set up a category like I did is you just go to posts and then you simply go to add new and then you're gonna create a category you just click, click add new and name your category and you're done right and then you just want to show every product that shows up under your store just make sure it's that category in this case I've made the category called stored and then if you go over here and look at my fan page and we click on store you'll see here all these actually are posts WP member champ WP twin s3 flow shield best cloaking script question mark all of these are posts that I've just simply created in WordPress as you see over here WP member champ etc etc category stored and that's where I'm gonna create my product page from stored okay so if we actually go in and look at one of these posts and scroll down to the bottom here where it says custom fields to make that image appear right here 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 and here all I had to do was simply just put in my image URL path okay 
in this case for this one I've entered a price and I've actually put the members download area and I chose the button add to cart okay and I've turned comments off I don't want to have comments alright so in this case literally within this theme option if you wish to you can set up your PayPal buttons all you gotta do is put in your PayPal address and I'll show you where that's at in a second but if somebody clicks add to cart here boom they can check out WP Member Champ. You know, uh, if you don't pick the Add to Cart button, but you pick the Read More button, this will actually go to the store post where you can insert more stuff here, and then actually put a checkout button or send them to your sales letter or wherever you wish to. And if you select the Download button down here, then you can have them instantly download a file if they click on that, or even send them to a website. And you just specify that by simply going here, where it says Product Download File Path, and that's where it was. It's going to show them. It's going to take them there. Okay, so that's your theme options for your product page category, and the number of words per excerpt on each product post. That's just simply a way that you control these right here, this little teaser copy under description. This is before you have your button show up here. And by the way, when you put your price in, if you're doing an Add to Cart button, it automatically shows up here over on the left. Pretty cool, huh? So you can specify how many words you want here in your description before the rest is hidden. What else? Well, let's look at squeeze pages. Okay, when you install this theme, by the way, it automatically sets up a product page for you, and it automatically sets up all your squeeze pages for you. So you see here, squeeze page one header text. Click the like button above to unlock your cool free gift. If we bop back over here and actually go to this, this is squeeze page one. Okay, and like I said, it's already installed for you. Notice how it says this is click the like button above to unlock your cool free gift. Let's say I want to change that. All I got to do here and said. Um, I got 16 videos on Twitter I want to give you. Click the like button before you can access them. Okay? Or to access them, whatever. It doesn't matter. Click Save Changes. Bot back over to here. And now if we look at this page, when we refresh it, I got 16 videos on Twitter I want to give you. Click the like button before you can access them. All right? And then it says once you click, you'll get the name of your free gift here. If you want to edit that, here's what you got to do. You just go to the page that's already auto-created for you when you install the WP Fan Pro WordPress theme. In this case, it's right here. And you'll know it's the right one because it'll say Template Squeeze Page 1 on, on the right there once you click. And that once you click just shows up simply over here. Once you click, you'll get your free gift and called Name a Gift here. Right? And then you could just change this and, you know, you could get your free gift call blah 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 and now you have a, a squeeze page here now this one is if you are actually forcing the like so this is the one if they're locked out and the only way to get in is to click the like button alright and we'll show that a little bit later but first let's move on back here over at theme options you see squeeze page 2 top header and that's this squeeze page over here so what can we do to customize this squeeze page squeeze page 2 well let's go back to our theme options if we wish to squeeze page uh, 2 top header title we can put that in there Hi, I'll put that in there. And then it says squeeze page to second header title. We can put whatever we want here. This is another title to mess with. Boom. And then down here, see how I made these bullet points? This is squeeze page to lower text. All you got to do is just put what you want here. And then if you want to get fancy, just click this bullet point button here. Bullet point one, bullet point two, etc. Right? And then we just go and we save changes. Now back on this page, since we've made those changes, let's refresh and see what happens. Well, there you go. The new title's up here. This is another title to mess with is there. Uh, get your free gift. I'll show you how to modify that and put the image here in a second. And your bullet points are down here. The last thing you got to do to finish this page off is this. See, when you install WP Fan Pro, it automatically creates Squeeze Page 2 template for you as well. And then this is where you just change the title. And in this case, I put this image in here. But you could put it whatever image you want. Just click on Add Image and then select the file from your computer, put in it from your URL, and you're done. And so the result is you have a nice, highly converting squeeze page that you just filled in a couple blanks, put in an image if you wish to, and you don't have to put an image in, but if you do, it'll show up right there. And that's squeeze page number two. Let's move on. Let's look at some of the other functions. Here's another squeeze page you can create if you wish to. This is one is called squeeze page three, and this is how this works. In this case, again, when you install WP Fan Pro, it automatically creates a squeeze page tree. Now, you don't have to use all these squeeze pages. You can pick just one to use if you wish, or you can use them all. It doesn't matter. But in this case, you see template squeeze page three. All you got to do is put a title up here, and then just put some bullet points down here and, and a call to action. Enter your email, bullet point, bullet point, bullet point, hit update, and guess what? The result is this. 
Headline automatically set it over here. These bullet points automatically stylize this button, this arrow button already put in there, and the click to play thing already set up for you. Okay, again, this is a highly converting squeeze page model. That's why I've created it for you. You just fill out a few things like title and put a little description in in WordPress, and you're done. Okay? And here's the last one, the last squeeze page that you can get. And again, it's auto created for you. And how can we affect this one? It says right here, your business will self destruct without this technique. Headline, sub, headline, big arrow pointing to a sign up button. Well, we simply just go down to here in the, in the theme options where it says squeeze page four warning message, you know, and select this thing and say, you can put whatever you want in here. And then click save changes. Now, if we go over here and refresh this, watch what happens to this text you can put whatever you want in here. And then where did I get the body text here? Well, that's very simple. Again, when you install WP Fan Pro, the four squeeze page is auto-created for you. And all you have to do besides filling out that one thing in the theme option is put your headline in here, Lone Ranger Traffic Strategy is what I used in this case. And you see it over here, Lone Ranger Traffic Strategy. And then you just put in your body copy. This enter your email below, that just simply goes here. And then you click Update and you're done and you got an automatic squeeze page. What about the opt-in form? How are you adding them to your list? Well, that's a great question. You just simply put in the opt-in form, where it says squeeze page two opt-in code, three and four, you copy and paste that. All right, so you just fill those out there. The other options here, PayPal settings, the way that works is you just enter your PayPal email ID, and then in the store, if you click add to cart, that's how you automatically get the purchases. Okay, Facebook settings. This is where the magic happens. All right, we show you how to create a Facebook app. It takes a few minutes, but this is how you make the magic of connecting WordPress with Facebook. So you get your own app ID, you put that in here, you put the secret key in here, this custom fan iframe height, you can change this so that way you don't get those scroll bars, which everybody hates and most other themes, they don't have a solution for it. We do. You can just change this to whatever. Okay, Facebook custom home URL prior to like. All we got to do is set this here and that will lock out everybody. And so they have to like it to get to the rest of the stuff. Okay, so if we actually set this to this page right here, all we got to do is put in this URL. In this case, let's, let's show you how that works. You just simply go over to pages right here and then on pages you just got to find the one that's squeeze page one, which in this case is this one that's auto created, and then you just put this URL here. Okay? And then if I copy this, all I got to do is go back over here, put it in here, boom, done. All right? So now nobody can access the site, and you will see, okay? I can't get in, okay? If I click welcome again, it's going to show the same thing. All right? But however, when I click like, ta-da, here I am, okay? That's really cool, isn't it? So that's how you do this like reveal stuff where they're locked out until they like it to get the free gift. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Other than that, color customization, uh, you can select what your download and add to cart button colors are. You can select the navigation menu background color, the navigation color, general post title color, text color, body border color, footer panel color. And that just simply means that you can change every color here. So you can make it look exactly like you want to. So if that sounds like a real good deal to you, just click the Add to Cart button, and then you can select whether you want a few licenses or an unlimited amount of licenses. So go ahead and sign up, and then you'll get instant access to this wonderful WP Fan Pro theme immediately, as well as excellent documentation and training and customer support. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the other side.